Cloud gaming is quickly becoming a big buzzword in the gaming industry. And almost every big gaming company is starting to offer this now. You pay a monthly price and you get access to a bunch of different games that you can stream over the air without ever having to download or update them. PlayStation has something called PlayStation Now, which allows you to stream games on your PC. Google has something called Google Stadia, which allows you to pretty much do the same thing and on mobile devices as well. And Microsoft has the xCloud, which allows you to stream games on your iOS and Android device. What's poppin' YouTube, my name is Michael, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Amazon Luna, the new gaming streaming service from Amazon. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm constantly putting out new gaming and technology videos, so if you're into that type of thing, be sure to subscribe. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the setup and sign up process for Amazon Luna and just find out more of what it's all about. Right now, this is actually in an invite only stage. If you're interested in signing up to get an invite, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you are able to get an invite, you'll eventually get an email from Amazon in your inbox stating that you have seven days to sign up for a free seven day trial. After that, they have a $5.99 introductory price and you also get the option to buy the Amazon Luna controller as well. And they have some pretty good games right now, at least that they say they're gonna be offering. Some of those games being Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which will be the newest Assassin's Creed game. Watch Dogs Legion, they even have Metro Exodus on here. Not terrible games for only six bucks a month right now, but how well does it work in practice? That question is really gonna be dependent on your internet speed. If you have fast internet or you're connected via ethernet, you're gonna have a much more enjoyable streaming experience when it comes to gaming. So I just hit the subscribe button. So now we have that seven day free trial or six bucks a month afterwards. And you can see here, now we have the option to download it on Mac, Windows, you can download on a PC or a Mac browser. That's pretty cool. So you can actually play this without ever having to actually download an app. You can also play on the Fire TV and you can play on an iPhone or an iPad as well. So that's pretty cool. One thing I wanna take a look at here is the requirements. So let's look at this. So as you can see here, it does have a specific browser support as well as operating system. It also has the controller support here as well. So if you have a Luna controller, a PlayStation 4 controller, an Xbox or a keyboard and mouse, uh, you'll be able to play without having to hopefully purchase a new controller, but you can purchase that Luna controller if you'd like. Now, network connection is next here, and you can see they don't actually tell you uh, an ideal speed that your internet should be at. It just says that they recommend ethernet or a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection for better gaming. So after downloading the app, you actually are gonna be able to just sign in with your Amazon account, and you're gonna have these profiles here, it looks like. So I'm gonna choose my name, and let's see what this is all about. So it says, welcome to Amazon Luna. Here are a few tips for a better gameplay experience. So I'm not gonna go over every single thing on here. The one thing I would like to point out though is that obviously you can connect a controller here. You'll have a library of games. So let's take a closer look at the actual interface here. So here we have the home, and this is kinda, it looks like they just got edited there's picks here, we've got a channel, we've got newly added games, as well as trending games. What I wanna check out is the library here. Looks like this is sorted alphabetically and it has, has some decent games in here. It has Control in here, looks like we got Grid. Again, we have Metro, not a bad game. And they will have the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla coming here as well, so that'll be, uh, that'll be nice to try out. In addition to that, looks like they have playlists here, so you can add certain games to a playlist. So if you wanted to have a playlist just for multiplayer shooters, you could do that. If you wanted to have one just for RPGs, you can do that here. You can also search for games to play, and of course, they do have some settings right here. So let's see if we can set up a controller to actually use with this new gaming streaming service. All right, so I went ahead and grabbed a PlayStation controller here for simplicity purposes. I just connected it via USB-C. You can connect this wirelessly if you're using a computer. You just have to connect the controller to your actual computer and Luna should recognize it. So you can see here we have the PlayStation 4 controller connected uh, via USB. So let's actually click on it. I don't know if we're gonna get any options here. I can't click on it to change the settings or anything. So let's go in and just try to launch a game. Let's try launching Grid. Racing games are always good to try out. So let's hit play now and let's see what happens. Just for reference here, I am on a five gigahertz network. I have about a hundred megs down and it looks like so far this is loading up pretty quick. So we'll just wait a little bit here to see what happens. Now, while this is loading up, I wanna say please consider hitting the thumbs up button on this video and subscribing to my channel if you enjoy this content. I want you guys to leave a comment letting me know what you think of cloud gaming. Is this something you think you're gonna be using in the future? Would you ever subscribe to a service? Let me know in the comments down below, super curious. So right away I can see we are having an issue here. It says network issue detected. Uh, but let's see if we can even play it. So I'm gonna hit X here. So we finally got it loaded up here. So we are streaming on a five gigahertz, 100 meg connection via wireless. I think I've said that a few times, but I really just wanna get my point across. I am terrible at this game apparently, but we are able to stream this and it's, it's not lagging too bad. Again, the quality here 
not great so far. Looks like we're at about 720p, but we're not getting a ton of latency here. It uh, it's it's not super smooth. Probably 24, maybe maybe 30 frames per second, but we're not getting a ton of dropped frames here. So it is playable. It is doing its job, and I am I mean I'm gaming on a Mac right now, which is which is kind of cool. So overall, that was a, an enjoyable experience. I was able to play the game without having to download or update it at all. The resolution wasn't good. The frame rate was probably around 24 to 30 frames per second. The point here is that it was playable. I was able to play a very intense game on a server somewhere without ever having to download it. And that's kind of the main attraction with this. You just fire up an app, you click on the game that you want to play, and you'll be able to play it. Is it going to be as good as gaming on an Xbox or a PlayStation or a beefed out gaming PC? No, absolutely not. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Amazon Luna. Do you think this is something you'll end up using? I personally don't think this is a service I'll end up keeping, mainly because I just don't see myself using it a ton. But if you're out there looking for some sort of gaming streaming service, uh, this might be promising. In addition to that, let me know if you'd like to see an unboxing or first impressions, maybe a test video of the Amazon Luna controller on Amazon, because I could probably get my hands on that too. Other than that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.